Hello, everyone. I'm Ezra Weinstein, CEO of Coreware, and sorry for interrupting your day with this video, but I'll try to keep it as short as possible. I just wanted to show you a few new things in Core Store that I think are important to point out and wanted to let you know what's been going on. Just briefly, uh, we've been busy the last few months, a lot of exciting things. We have grown our staff. We've added more developers, added more customer service people. Uh, we now have 58 employees at Coreware, and they're all here to service our customers. I want to thank you all for being a customer and for all of the input that you provide, all of the feedback. We do listen. We do always strive for excellence. Uh, we don't like... Uh, you waiting for support. We don't like you not getting the right answers and we're constantly working on improving that and we're not perfect all the time, but hopefully you're seeing the improvements. One of the big things we changed was obviously we are getting rid of our old ticketing system and I'll show you in a minute. There is a way to enter a ticket or of course you can always jump right to this chat button and chat with our live support. I want to remind all of you, if you want a phone call, just ask them to call you. If it's easier for you to talk to us about a problem you're having, just ask the staff to call you. If you're not getting a response back where you're not getting a call back, just raise the flag. At the end of the day, the buck stops here. Um, but we want to be as helpful as possible. We've been improving our knowledge base articles, and hopefully you can uh, see some of those results. And really exciting for us uh, is that we've added some resources right in Core Store. So first of all, you will see a new icon. It's only visible on this main dashboard screen so it won't interfere or interrupt with any other screen but this is our new resource center and in the resource center uh, at the top you'll see the latest release nodes uh, so that's pretty exciting uh, because if you click that you'll actually see that we've got some release notes today uh, some new features being announced and you can see some of the videos we're getting back to our what's new i apologize uh, I've been on hiatus. I've been the, the one doing them. I now have more staff that can help with it. And we're going to get back on the wagon to do some nicer what's new. We have been keeping release notes. So you'll see the second option in your resource center right here is a change log with all of our release notes. Uh, I know many of you probably didn't know where to access those. And that was just some communication, poor communication on our side. But we are going to do a much better job with our communication. Uh, this is just the start of it because you'll see here, we don't just have uh, release notes, but you can access uh, information such as your account ID. So now you have an account ID assigned across all products, helps us, helps you. Um, that seems minor, but it was a pretty major task um, and undertaking. Uh, we now have more courses in our university and you can just jump right to our university it's free uh, we've got a getting started course which is great for if you're a new course store customer or if you have new employees make sure they go through training and it's self-paced and we're adding more and more courses so it's not just getting started but we have a whole work order uh, course in the core where university and and we also are adding additional modules and you'll start seeing those appear pretty rapidly. I don't know why my camera uh, faded out there. All right, you're probably tired of seeing my face anyway. So in addition, you can access our support center and you'll see here you can go right to the ticketing center or you can go to uh, our knowledge base. Again, I encourage you to use the chat. Um, it's more immediate, but if you feel like you want to enter a ticket into the system, it does end up becoming a conversation, but you'll be able to go back and look at all of your uh, conversations. So uh, for those of you who uh, are worried that you lost your ability to send us a ticket, we'll also be adding additional ways to give us feedback, and that's probably coming next week.
Um, you have access to our YouTube channel, as well as you can go to our connection corner where you can follow us on social media, uh, on X, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So uh, the Resource Center, hopefully you'll find it really useful. Keep an eye on it. Um, we'll be en- enhancing it, adding uh, resources to it. But again, I think that's a, a really good step in uh, the right direction. Uh, we also, pretty exciting uh, news, is we have a new menu option. It's a button down on the bottom here. Again, it should be unobtrusive, but it's user guides. And we did have some user guides, but we decided to switch to a better platform. And we already have uh, actually quite a large number of user guides. Uh, and these are walkthroughs of how to do different things. And the nice thing is it changes based on what screen you're on. So for those of you using our bound book, if you go to the dashboard here, you'll see um, I've got my user guides and they're specific for uh, my bound book. And I apologize, this uh, little icon here is in the way, but again, hopefully you can see it. Um, So I've got specific bound book uh, guides. And again, I can start any one of them and um, will just walk me through the screen and tell me step by step what to do. Um, so it's it's really beneficial. Um, so that's our user guides. And we have, as I mentioned, a pretty big update. Uh, we've introduced uh, a few things. We've had channel for Core Store, and I'll probably make a separate video on what those are. But in short, we are turning Courser into a very much an omni-channel platform, which basically allows you to sell on all different types of channels. And we're going to be adding more and more channels uh, to our kind of channels. You'll just see the list of channels here. Let me move myself out of the way. And again, just giving you a glimpse. So this gives you the ability to have a lot more flexibility if you want to add a new website and you're not you decided you want to use BigCommerce or you're already using WooCommerce and you don't want to switch to CoreForce. We're all about choices. We're all about what's best for you as our customer. And currently you'll be able to add a couple of channels and uh, you can choose from all the different channels. We have some exciting channels, aren't live yet, but when you hear about them, once we turn them on live, you're going to be really excited. Gunspot is coming soon. Uh, which is an auction site that there is an integration, but the integration uh, actually uh, had to be revamped. Uh, Gunspot has been working on retooling a lot of their platform. They're near the end, and they've got a whole new API for us to consume. So hopefully Gunspot channel will be available soon. Guns.com, great channel for those of you who have uh, gun stores, gun ranges. Many of you already use Guns.com. And then, of course, you'll see some of the common names. We are excited that we are also announcing uh, manufacturer channels. Uh, stay tuned for more information on that. But if you are a manufacturer, having a channel in Core Store allows you to showcase on your website who has your items in stock right now. So your visitors to your website, they can immediately see, even if you sell direct, maybe you don't have stock, but you've got stores all over the country that have stock. And many of them have websites. This is revolutionary. Um, We're super excited about it. Atlas Gunworks, one of our uh, oldest and best customers, uh, they're the first manufacturer channel, and uh, we're going to be adding more. So stay tuned. A lot of great things coming. Uh, It's been an interesting year. Um, I just want to uh, finish up and just... uh, fill you in on real briefly, but Coreware itself, and my camera has gone completely fuzzy, but, uh, and I would redo this, but I've been up all night, so you're just going to have to (laughs) live with the, uh, uh, the fuzzy, fuzziness, and, uh, I don't know why it's frozen, but I'm trying to use my iPhone as my, uh, webcam, and, uh, I guess it decided to stop working, but, I just wanted to let you know it's been it's been a, a really interesting, uh, good year. With uh, again, all of us have faced challenges, uh, economy, uh, slowing markets, 
Um, I had a battle on my hands. Uh, for those of you business owners, uh, I'm sure many of you have had partners or have partners, and you're familiar with the pros and cons, challenges, and uh, rewards that come with that. Uh, I was able to buy out my partners this year, which took us months and uh, was not the most fun uh, exercise. It's part of the reason I went a bit silent from just communication standpoint. Uh, it's been a lot, but uh, we're, we're past that. And uh, I have full control of Coreware. We, our mission, again, is to help small business survive and thrive. That is what excites me. Um, we're a small business. Uh, we have a lot of employees now, but I still think we're a small business. And uh, we have the same struggles as all of you. And uh, we strive to be the best. We strive to provide the best customer service. You know, bugs cost us a lot more money than uh, you could even imagine. Uh, having uh, you not receive proper support costs us, right? Um, it costs us the reputation. It sometimes costs the customer. So, Keep in mind, our goal is to strive to be the best, and I'll keep investing in Coreware to keep doing that. And we will keep enhancing our offerings. We'll keep providing new features. We'll keep modernizing our tools and providing you with the best set of tools to help you manage your business and hopefully save you time from worrying about a lot of minutia so you can focus on the bigger picture. Thank you so much for watching this video.